Hi guys and good morning. 15 minutes before sunrise, which means it's ridiculously early. I'm actually heading in that direction to photograph some groins to pretty much carry on where I left off from yesterday. But on my way to the groins, support, sticks in the water, call them what you may. I saw this little channel here. And because it's that early in the morning, there is no footprint. So I thought before I crack on and before the sun raises its head above the horizon, I thought I'd grab this. Throwing you guys in camera so you can see what I'm looking at. So something like that. Possibly even that. And to pay me for not being lazy and getting up at four o'clock this morning, a seal popped its head up to say hello. That's gotta be a good start to the day, isn't it? When that happens, ah, oh, it's a great start to the day. Right, let's grab the shot. No filters at all. One and a half seconds at F11, ISO 100. pretty special that isn't it that is really nice I've opted for a 30 second exposure with a six stop filter on I don't want longer than 30 seconds otherwise I'll get movement in the Sun and just a simple composition with those groins Wow day two of my whirlwind trip couldn't have started any better it couldn't have started any better Look at that. Look at that, that's an in-camera view. Just to let you guys look at what I'm taking a picture of, composition, etc. Nothing any more simple than that. Wow. Welcome to Wednesday morning. <laughs> Talking of which, hi guys and welcome to this week's video. This is quite a nice image. And this is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this video. I'm gonna be walking along all of these groins here and I'm gonna be isolating certain parts or certain amounts of groins and making patterns of them. This is a particularly nice one. This is uh, one I was photographing with the sunrise in the background of the ship. Slightly further to the left, there were six groins and even numbers don't necessarily or very rarely work in terms of landscape composition. So I just moved ever so slightly. So if you look at the groins now, ignore the one at an angle, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I wasn't keen on that. So if you keep an eye on the two groins at the back, I simply moved across to here 
and those two groins in the back blended into one and that's pretty much my composition from here and just before I move away to find some more patterns of groins I'm going to retake this picture from a higher perspective to lower those groins down into the water. It's not something I do very often, but I've got plenty of time today. I'm just going to give myself some options. This is quite an interesting pattern. I quite like this. Double set of groins looking straight down. What I like about this is the waves are breaking right on the near side. So I think that would probably add quite a bit of interest. Almost like foreground interest. Near side interest, call it what you want. So I think it's up for my half a second exposure here. I can easily capture that at F10 and all I gotta do now is wait like that yeah that is nice I'm just gonna wait for the next set of big waves to come now and once I've done that 10 stop on 2 minute exposure flatten it out but then the waves on the near side will make for a lighter whiter pattern on the lower end of the camera so yeah win-win oh I've got all this to go at yeah all of this to go at oh it's just so cool I'm not sure if you saw last week's video whereby I was further to the left from where I am now but it was the first time I've ever been there and I got I got caught out by the water yeah it was a bit of a nightmare really but 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 I was like a child in a, you know, in a candy store. It was just so cool. Right, there's one thing I'm going to do now before I opt for even longer exposures. One thing in the image I'm not 100% happy with, and that is the big stanchion at the back. I'll throw you in camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at that. So where that water is breaking now, like that, yes. So that's F8, eighth of a second. Histogram is looking really good at ISO 100. Eighth of a second translates to two minutes with a 10 stop filter on. F8, bold mode, two minute timer. And away she goes. Can't walk past a groin without stopping and photographing it. I don't know why. I particularly like these castle-shaped groins, and the the tide is coming up just to the point of where there's a break in the groins, and it looks really nice. I think I've got my timing right. I've taken quite a few. I've not vlogged it because otherwise it'll be a very boring vlog with me pretty much photographing the same thing throughout. But uh, <laughs> I'm afraid it is really. But I'm heading 
probably another five, six hundred yards in that direction. There's some sea markers down there, and they always make for good, fine art, minimalistic style photography. So, yeah, I'm heading in that direction. But I'm loving this this morning, and what a lovely morning. What a beautiful morning. I'm the new photographer here. This effect here is really cool and it's fantastic for foreground interest. The water's coming up, it's gushing through and I'm grabbing a half a second exposure. As the water's receding, we've got these gorgeous leading lines. That looks really cool. Really, really nice, look at that. So we've got a combination of waves breaking like now, next to water running out, that offers uh, a really interesting foreground interest. Now I know I'm at portrait orientation, but let me throw you guys inside the camera so you get an idea of what we're looking at. Right, watch this. Ah, all right. <laughs> oh. It's raining again. <laughs> oh, come on, I just started the damn video. And now the tide's gone out. <laughs> just hang fire, hang fire, hang fire. Okay, hang fire. So trying some longer exposure shots in between the rain. I've opted for four seconds. Four seconds is long enough, I've timed, to just give me enough interest with one wave instead of more than one wave hitting which can get very confusing <laughs> that is so cool just so you know i've got one leg on a groin the other two i've dug in the best i can the waves are coming up over the tripod legs, as you can see now, but I'm just, I think it's fine. Over four seconds, it looks cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't like chimping, but I tell you what, <laughs> that is just awesome. Yeah, yeah. Again, let me very quickly throw you guys in camera so you can see what I'm looking at. And hopefully you'll understand why I'm getting excited. Let's make that a bit brighter for you. There you go. Okay, so you can see the tide coming up now. Then as it starts to recede, you've got all these vein shapes going out. And over the four second exposure, that's long enough or quick enough to capture just one wave action, the action from one wave. Like up, and then back out again. Like now, one, two, three, and then four before the other wave comes back in. Yeah. Yeah, that is so cool. That is so cool. There, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's gone in my wellies. That literally has gone in my wellies. Oh, that's cold. That is cold. But it's so. Oh, no. <laughs> I need a hole in my wellies now to drain the water out. <laughs> Right. Oh, that is a big one. That is a big one. That is a big one. Oh, that is a big one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's, that's almost come up to my back. <laughs> 
That's the shot of my trip, I think. I think one of those there will be the shot of my trip. Last night was super exciting. And the picture I took of the artist painting the lighthouse, and I was using the artist as foreground interest. I love that picture as well. But you know what? That, I think, has topped them all. Right, so, I've st I still haven't made it to the markers in the water. I won't stop, I'll go straight there, I'll grab one more shot, and I'll call that a wrap or I'll... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To some people, this is merely a pole in the sea, but with the right vision, this simple pole becomes a great point of interest, or better still, the only subject in a fine art image. I started to walk back and very quickly realized I got cut off. So I've now had to climb up onto this uh, breakwater or whatever they call it, sea defense wall. That's where I am at the moment, <laughs> heading back. But on the way back, I happened to notice what looks like a big lump of metal in the sea just there. And I don't know why, but I think, I think over a long exposure, it could look quite nice and interesting for a minimalistic picture. But you don't know until you try. So, I've stopped again everybody. I packed everything away. I've said my goodbyes. I know everything is coming back out again. <laughs> Just because I can't walk past something that has potential. I mean, you don't know until you take it. You just don't. But if I didn't take it, I'd never know. So that's twice in two days I've been cut off by the tide. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, sod it. Let's put it all back on again. Now I've got this set up, I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. But, in terms of a composition, bottom left hand side, pretty much nothing. There's a small stanchion out there which sits nicely on the top right hand third, but um, it's so insignificant, I probably won't use it. That sky is wonderful though. That sky is so nice. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I might even, I might even leave that post in because that's looking mighty fine. <laughs> and that's why, that's why if you see potential in something, you've got to take the picture to find out. That is, is stunning. <laughs> <laughs> 